Ancient Greek art can date all the way back to 1100 BCE to 300 BCE. Dispersed around the Mediterranean, divided into self-governing units called polices or city-states, the ancient Greeks were united by a shared language, religion, and culture. During the classical period of Greek art, the artist displayed naturalistic figures with accurate proportions and anatomy. This was a shift from the unrealistic proportions of the past. These figures were made to honor important people, and the figures were usually made of beautiful people to honor the human form. Ancient Greek art primarily was made of sculptures, typically made of marble. These sculptures were meant to honor important figures and showed all their facial features and flaws. The artists of ancient Greece also created terracotta figures that were buried with the people when they died because they were believed they were gifts to gods. The first Roman art can be dated back to 509 BCE with the founding of the Roman Republic that lasted until 330 CE. Roman art was primarily in Europe but can also be found in Africa and Asia. It is believed that the founding of the Roman Republic happened in 509 BCE when the Etruscan king Tarquinius Serbus was overthrown. During this period, art was made primarily in service of the state. Important people and public figures were depicted in statues. These statues show mostly bald-headed older figures with wrinkles and distinct features. These features showed experience, hard work, and wisdom rather than beauty. This portrait style is called veristic, and this refers to the emphasizing of flaws of the individual. The Roman Republic ended with the rise of Augustus in 27 BCE, which started the formation of Imperial Rome. Imperial art encompasses the art of past or classical art. This art includes many different media, including paintings, marble, mosaics, silver and bronze work, gems, and terracotta. Imperial Rome art has many influences from the cultures around it. It is common to see Greek, Etruscan, and Egyptian influence throughout Imperial Roman art. The subject matter ranged from important ancestors to mythological and historical scenes, still lifes and landscapes. Here we see natural forms of nude sculptures, smooth lines and elegance. The piece The Spear Bear is a Roman copy originally made by the Greek sculpture Polycleotis, which is one of the most famous Roman sculptures and is made from marble standing at 6-6. The sculpture depicts an athlete bearing a spear. The figure is shown nude in a natural form with a toned body and in shape figure. Another piece that demonstrates this return to classical art is the Augustus of Prima Porta. It was a painting made for Augustus, which was made at the end of his life, but it shows a youthful, handsome, strong figure representing himself. The statue depicts him as a powerful leader and is made to showcase his facial features and youthness. And years later, Imperial Roman art shifted towards the art of late antiquity. The characteristics of late antiquity art includes frontality, stiffness of pose, drapery, deep drilled lines, less naturalism, squat proportions, and lack of individualism. In this painting, Relief from Arc of Constantine, there is little variation or individualism in the figures. They are all stiff and carved with deep, full lines and are dressed similarly. The painting depicts Septimus Servus and his sons. Roman art was made for families, as well as public art to be displayed for everyone. These artworks and statues were a form of wealth, and Roman families collected them in order to showcase their taste and education as it is today.